All right, then there's feedback. Now, what is feedback? Well, it's sending information back to the user about what has been done. So that we know that the system knows that we have responded to the system or we have sent a command to the system. So it can be something like a sound, right? It can be something like um, highlighting a link that you've clicked, some sort of fun and exciting animation that gets really annoying after the first two seconds, unless you're two or four. A combination of these things. Now, you actually encounter this all the time. And we don't really realize it unless that feedback is not there. So, for example, when we have a button on a screen and you click that button, what type of feedback do you tend to get? Yeah, either it's highlighted, you see, it looks like it was, you know, it was a button that was pushed, you may hear a click, you may get some sort of message, something that tells us that this site or this system has registered what we've just done. Now, how many of you have gone to sites that don't have this type of feedback and they're slow? Right, so you go to it and you click and you're like, you don't, nothing happens, there's no feedback. What do you do? You sit and wait patiently to see if it has, if it, uh, has received. Yeah, no, what do you do? You start clicking, click, click, click. What's wrong with this stupid thing? Click, 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 click. Right? Now, as you are clicking 100 million times, now what's happening? Yeah, you're getting no feedback, and now you are sending more and more commands to the system. So the system gets even slower. So now we're very happy. And so when the system becomes slower, then what do we do? After we're tired of clicking. Yeah, we get aggravated and we're like, this stupid thing doesn't work. I am leaving and finding something better. So now, what happened to that customer? Yeah, now they're not a customer anymore. So feedback actually is really important. There are certain things that we naturally expect. When we push a button, we expect to be able to see that button being pushed. We expect that we may actually hear something. We need something that will acknowledge that the system has received our command. Otherwise, we make the assumption that nothing is happening and there's something wrong. And our reaction may even exacerbate the system being able to respond. Now, it sounds kind of obvious, right? Do you think it's common sense? You'd think so. But what happens again is a lot of times when we are focused on getting the technology to work, we forget about the user. You need to think about the user so that you can identify with these sorts of things.